Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this camera right here, the TC08 by Vupeak. Do a quick unboxing and then we'll get it out in the woods, test it out, see how it does, and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Stay tuned. Got your manual. Just got kind of a quick start guide. And there's the camera. I like the looks of this camera. As you can tell, it's got a built-in solar panel. It's got three motion sensors. Got a place for a lock. And on the back, it's got a spot for your Python cable and then your quarter 20 mount. Got you a nice screen there. All your menu buttons. And it does say to put in four backup batteries um, in case it's in a spot where there's not a lot of sunlight. We may put it to the test and just not put any batteries in it at all and see how it does. We'll see. It does take a micro SD card and it does require um, some charging up before you put it out in the field. So, And that usually takes several hours. So we're going to do that. Get it all charged up. It does come with a does come with a cable to charge it up and some mounting hardware and then you got your strap and they always have these stickers on there so just don't forget to take those off and it does have the Bluetooth feature while it does not send pictures to your phone after they're taken uh, you can uh, download the app and get within 20 or 30 yards of the camera and you should be able to pull up the pictures so we're going to test all that out and see how it does stay tuned i'm going to show you some pictures and videos and put it to the test And as I mentioned earlier, this does have the Bluetooth feature. So you'll download this app here called Wildlife Cam. And once you download it, it'll take you to this screen here. You'll select your camera there. Once you select your camera, it'll connect and show you your live view. So you can adjust that if you need to. You can look at your pictures, your videos that it's already taken or adjust your settings. Um, very pleased with the app, very easy to use. So a few final thoughts about this camera. I had no trouble at all with the solar panel keeping up. Uh, I didn't put any backup batteries in it at all. I probably took a couple hundred videos, just as many pictures, and it seemed to do just fine. The pictures and videos all look good to me. Uh, no issues there. They all look crisp and clear. 
and uh, that's just on the 1080 setting, 1080p setting on the video. My computer doesn't handle 4K very well, so um, so the 4K will probably look even better. The only negative thing I could find is the micro SD card is really small. It's kind of a, kind of tricky to get in and out. I would prefer a regular size SD card, but I probably won't use the Bluetooth feature just because it takes a long time running only video mode to download a bunch of videos and stand there. So pictures will probably be just fine using the app, but I'll pull the card, do it that way. So I'll leave the links in the description below. One will be an Amazon link and the other one will be for the website. The Amazon link, I believe, has the better price last time I checked. So any questions, anything I forgot to mention, just feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you on the next one.